So what's the trick? How do you raise a child who eats their fruits and veggies? That's what we're gonna talk about today. It's gonna be sweet. I love Wagley! So this week we've spent a lot of time researching, investigating about taste and flavor, and one name kept coming up, and that's Dr. Julie Manella. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, can you great. can you see us? Can you hear us? Dr. Manella enlightened us on a few things about babies and food that we didn't know. In order to really understand how babies learn about foods and flavors, we have to start with some built-in basics that come pre-wired in your baby. And that is the preference for sweet and the dislike of bitter. We all like sweets. The age-related differences is that children will prefer a very, very intense sweetness, where the adult may, it may be a lower level of sweetness. So good, good. Sweets are a signal for calories, um, for energy-rich foods. And so the child, especially during periods of maximal growth, is re really attracted to things that taste sweet. And just like a preference for sweet, the dislike of bitter comes pre-programmed in your baby. Bitter is our signal for poison. So you see that the child has a very well-developed sense of taste and rejects bitter. So the bottom line is that babies are living in a totally unique sensory world. And it's a world that's different from us as adults. And each baby is different. So what do we do? I mean, that's the world they're living in. Here's the amazing thing about humans, especially human babies, they can learn. We can learn to like bitter, learn to like bitter tasting foods, um, but that comes with experience. And they're learning about the flavors of foods long before their first taste of food. Before they are even born, babies are learning about their food landscape through exposure in utero to different tastes and smells. Flavors are actually transferred from the blood supply into the amniotic fluid. Every time you eat, drink, or even smell while pregnant, you're essentially educating your baby about the food environment in which you and soon they will live. And if you're breastfeeding, the education continues. Some of the flavors in the food you eat actually end up in the breast milk. How cool is that? Through a number of research studies, we can show that not only are those flavors there, but the baby can detect them and memories are formed. So the $100 million question is this, if you have a child who's willing to learn, what's the best way to teach them? And studies have shown that one of the keys to getting children to eat certain foods is repeated exposure. And I'm talking an average of eight to 10 times. You wanna do eight to 10 times? Broccoli for you. There we go. Number one. The baby needs to have these experiences to learn to like the foods. It's not like sweet or salt, where the baby really doesn't need experience to like them. They'll readily accept it. But for foods that uh, vary in complex flavors and texture, and they need experience. And you don't have to let that you grow space stop you from trying, because it turns out that babies may still make faces even though they're willing to accept certain food. So you might still see the blah, 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 even though babies are willing to still keep eating the food. Whoa, there it is. And this brings us to another take home message. Studies suggest that the more variety, and we're talking sensory diversity, taste, texture, smell, of foods that a child is exposed to, the more accepting a child is of new types of food. So of course, our babies are little sponges. We want them to be able to eat healthy and try new foods and be pleasant dinner guests. Oh, Augie, you need to sit in your chair, please. So a large part of that falls on us teaching them. But it's important to remember that with everything baby related. It's a dance between you and your baby and your family. There's not one right way. Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Haley and this is Rob. You can watch our other videos and please like and share them with your friends so we can make more of them. All right, thanks so much. See you next time.